Brian Benier. My name is Liam Rod. This is Sarah Svoboda from Canada. I'm John Shear, a Harlequin scrum coach. It's Tim Visser. Uh, I used to play for Scotland. Not in by this. This is Vasily Artemia from Russian Rugby. Hi, it's Andrew from the Rugby Channel. Josh Reeves here from the Brazilian Rugby National Team. Seeing off here, ex Ospreys, Dragons, London Irish, and Wales. Two Saints Rugby. It's Lucas Abuj, and I'm a prof for the Brazil Rugby National Team. Skinny Brew Rugby here from South Africa. Juan Pablo Sosino. With us, show Josué Abrejoli. It's Ali Brew here. X Wales International. Samantha from Singapore. Gareth here, aka G Bear. And I run a YouTube channel called Consistent Walkthroughs. My name is Sean Holly, uh, an ex professional rugby coach for 20 years. It's Andrew Ford here. It's Joe from the YouTube channel The Rugby Guru. Having been on the cover of one or two rugby games that have been brought out internationally, I definitely know the enjoyment that it has brought. During lockdown, we're all going through challenging times, but we want to keep ourselves occupied, especially those who aren't working, the school guys, the youngsters, the fast yokes. We want to keep um, entertained. Now, how do we do that? Yeah, another rugby game uh, come out on all sort of consoles and all sort of um, platforms. I think it's a very good idea to make a game of rugby and that Uruguay took into account that we were not taken into account and today our television is very big. Speaking about Brazil, we know it's we all know it's a massive football country, so a lot of young people out there playing FIFA. I still remember when the John Alomo game came out and it was great and we used to spend loads and loads of time playing. We've seen what FIFA has done for football and what Madden has done for the NFL. I have two teenage sons who play those games and get very involved in it. It's been a long time since Rugby 08. It's been too long. I remember playing it at school and absolutely loving it. Spend hours and my friends spend hours and hours and hours playing uh, this rugby game. I know in my house all my roommates are always playing sports games and stuff like that and it's just amazing what sport can do so I think a rugby game is is um, well overdue and would be something great to have. We all know that the rise of, of esports is uh, is a thing. It would be a bit of a head in the sand moment to ignore that fact. When we see football players playing an online FIFA competition, we see basketball players playing an online NBA 2K20 competition and we see rugby players playing the FIFA competition as well. This is definitely not acceptable. It's not a good look. We want to engage our, our audience and that is not just kids. I mean, I played rugby games as a kid when I didn't fully understand the game itself. I couldn't sit through 80 minutes. I would still love to get on the old PlayStation and play some rugby games with my mates. This would be a great opportunity to increase visibility of the women's game. And I think a video game would really open up that opportunity, um, especially with countries where we don't grow up playing rugby from such a young age, it would really help. We definitely need to include women's teams in this rugby video game because rugby is a game for all and we definitely should be able to allow everybody to enjoy it. Love to see a rugby game every single year, like we do with FIFA, just because we'll have better licensing. Like playing the ARC, the America's Rugby Championship, or to watch the Six Nations to the end, because this year could have, couldn't finish. And I would really like to watch other championships around the world so we can have some competition. We need a game with official stadiums, all top 60 international teams, all the major club leagues. Better gameplay, new game modes every year, something new to play every year. まあ、さっき言ったんだけど、マーケティングツールではあるんですね。あと、若い人集まるツール。あとはね、それとラグビーのルールや戦略を学べるツールですね。まあ、特によく似わかファンにいる日本がこれがいいですね。It's a game for all shapes and sizes. And um, I think that's something that could be really cool if it's, it's put into a platform like that. Why is football so popular? Because it's got a damn good FIFA game. It's time for World Rugby to get their act together and organize us a proper rugby game because that will be the answer to bringing the fans together and the love of rugby. Get to it, World Rugby. We're waiting. The quicker we can get a game developed, the better. It would be awesome to have a good good video game to be able to, to compete in that market to help grow the game uh, in a country like Brazil. So 
let's make it happen. So hopefully we can get a new one done soon. Create a fully licensed uh, video game for rugby. I think it's a good idea. It'd be nice to see it out there in competition with other games. There's a few respectable efforts from guys with low budgets and imagine what they could do if they all work together with a bigger budget. If World Rugby just got involved to make some sort of licensing for international teams or leagues, then I'm pretty sure we can make this happen. This, this generation now, I mean, people just play games. I'm almost 40. People my age play games. They want to engage with the product. A new game, something new, and I'm sure everyone in Singapore and all around Asia and all around the world will definitely be keen. We'd love to see if we can really get an annual rugby video made and fully licensed, I know that there is a massive following of people actually wanting to play it. I want you all to join our campaign and ensure that rugby gets a good video game. Let's support this universal campaign, all of you rugby lovers out there. Let's make this happen and let's get it done. Cheers.